Today we're going to be focusing on different variations of the back crawl. We covered the back crawl in season one. Now I'm going to show you how to take your back rolls to the next level and add some variety. We're going to do this through adding grabs to our back roll. Today we're going to focus on adding a nose grab, a stale grab, an indie grab, a tail grab, and a cradle grab. Now if you don't know what these grabs are, the nose and the tail are fairly self-explanatory on the nose of your board and on the tail of your board. A stale grab is between your feet on the heel side rail of your board with your back hand. You bend your front leg and straighten your back leg for a stale grab. An indie grab is on the toe side rail of your board between your feet with your back hand. And a cradle grab is on the nose of your board with your rear hand. So to start this off, we go for a back roll like normal. We bear off a bit downwind, load up our rail, you can do this hooked in or unhooked, load up your board, scoop, release into the back roll, and as you release, you can take one hand off, say we're going for a tail grab. We're going to keep our front hand on the bar, a good tip is to split your fingers over the bar so you don't steer the kite too much in the air. Putting your index finger on the other side of the centre lines will help you keep the kite still and have steering abilities both ways. So now, as we're going halfway through the back roll, is when we take off our rear hand and we're going to reach for the tail of our board. Make sure to grab the board properly and stall out the grab to make it look even better. The longer you hold the grab for, the better the trick's going to look and the more you're going to change the trick. Now the whole point in grabbing your board in board sports like kiteboarding is to change the trick and make it look different from the original trick without a grab. As you grab the board, make sure you keep the kite still, spot your landing and absorb with your knees and ride away. Now we're going to look at a few different variations of the back roll with different grabs. These are just a few examples. Feel free to try any other grab positions you want. You can also try adding another back roll. So do a double back roll. This allows you to spend more time in the air and actually you can grab the board for even longer. I find for two or three back rolls, grabbing the board actually helps me tuck up and keep in position better so you can keep the rotation going a lot easier. A couple of common mistakes people make when they're grabbing their back rolls. The main one is not putting your hand right in the middle of the bar. A lot of people will have their hands as normal when they're riding along and then when they take off one hand from the bar they steer the kite hard to whichever side they've still got the hand on the bar with. So for a tail back roll, for example, a lot of people will take their back hand off and send the kite down into the water. And for a nose back roll, for example, a lot of people will take the front hand off and this will send the kite up in the air, up to 12 o'clock, and send you off axis or maybe even into a kite loop or something and usually this doesn't end well if it's not intentional. I hope this gave you a few new ideas for things to try in the water. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon.